Hello and welcome to Stockwatch presented by me, Evan Lucas for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it is relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it is upon as any form of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. A little bit of an interesting one, CBA is creeping up and I find it quite fascinating. If you have a look at the low to where they are now, so their low was back in October, very late October, in fact, about the 24th, to where they peaked out in November. They're up almost 8.9%. And there's not a huge amount of information to really drive that. Yes, they came out with quarterly numbers. The unaudited cash profit was sitting at about $2.8 billion, which means, again, if you extrapolate that, they're on track to do what they did in the financial year 23 in FY24. They did say, however, competition was up, that costs were slightly a problem for them, and that the competition in 2024 will be high, and that's calendar year 24. The one thing that's also come out over that period is that they finally got their loan book to grow again after having two consecutive months of negative growth through competition. And CBA doesn't like that. Let's point that out very clearly. There is a reason they are the powerhouse of what they are. Nearly one in two people in this country bank with CBA at 46% of the overall banking market. Now that's not all loans, that is obviously transactional and everything else, but CBA is just doing what it does best and that is why it is and demands a premium to peers and continues to be the absolute pinnacle of the banking space. The reason I'm asking this question, at $103.98 as I talk to you today, it has been as high as $104.10, is that value? And the argument would probably be maybe not. And there is going to probably come a time very soon where a lot of the analytical world will always do what they do when it gets to this point and tell you it's a sell. I'm certainly not here to do that. That's not what I'm here to talk about. But it's always interesting when CBA runs and runs as hard as it has over the last couple of months to see what happens. Because as I said to you, this is a premium bank and it demands a premium price for a reason. The question you've got to ask yourself is, is the premium now fully done? or is there a little bit to go? Will it fall back to that sort of 96 level which it was at midway through October? That's all the questions that I'm sort of asking you today. Because as I said, 2024 will be difficult, but I will know one thing, CBA will negotiate it very, very well.